where I try to hit the, hit the five with the Q pole. There you go, see, perfect. And now the five that put in front of the side pocket. Just like that, perfect. One ball over here, two ball on the other side of the table. Like that. Now the cue ball did not go all the way there, it starts perfectly uh, for the two ball. If you don't have a choice, you must do this. Okay, focus. Like that. Uh, that is how that is a falling stroke when you fall on the table after the after after you pull the trigger. Play pool, play pool. Hello, let's play some pool. Okay, we will play some pool now. And uh, I will teach you how you can beat uh, the opponent without any physical violence. You can beat him with the strategy. You don't need to be a good player, you don't need to play so often. You can play once a week, you can win tournaments like that. That is what, what I did. I, I was playing really bad, I was very cold in the beginning. I couldn't hold the cue good at all, but I still won. And I will teach you how you can do it too. How you can win, even if you play bad. So here I, I attempt to make the eight ball four rails into the corner. Now sometimes it will get kissed away, but... Yeah, like that. It got kissed by the one. You need to be lucky on the break shot. And it, it, it's all about how the balls are racked. They are always racked a little differently every time. Uh, here, let's see what we have here. Uh, here, on this chart, if you start a tournament, never, never be aggressive in the beginning. Make a safety. Because that way, you will, you, you will feel like you haven't made a mistake. So make a safety in the beginning, if you have a tough shot. And here, I will make uh, a kill shot low left spin to kill the cue ball on the rail so it will go it will stop somewhere here instead of going too far uh, back towards the uh, one ball and I, I want the one ball to stop somewhere there so here I use the low left spin a kill shot like that perfect one ball over here cue ball on the other side of the table And now uh, the, the, the opponent that has that on the one, the one ball can be can be hit on the right side, very thick. And my my dog is doing something. But he's doing, uh, 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 uh. Let's continue. So the cube ball can only be hit on the right side of the one ball. So I need to do that. I don't have a choice. Extremely difficult safety here, very difficult. I might lose the game right now. So I need to hit the one ball uh, on the right side and I hope that the one ball will start on the two ball and the cue ball will go here to the other side of the table, okay? So uh, top uh, right spin. Stuck on the two, no it didn't. Yeah. I was a little lucky that the three ball is in the way of the one ball. Okay, so now what can I do here? I can actually make the three ball with the one if I uh, shoot the one ball into the rail first. So I'm aiming uh, there on the, on the rail there. So I want to hit the one ball there on the cushion. So I will do that. Let's see. And if I succeed, I should be I should have a good shot on the one uh, into the corner. Yeah, and the cue ball would go somewhere, somewhere there. Okay. And actually, I don't think the cue ball is going to travel past the eight ball, so I need to go below the eight with uh, left spin, left spin on the cue ball. So to go past the eight. No, I did not succeed. But the opponent didn't get really anything after that miss. Because I, I hit the three ball on the, on the side close to the rail, so the, the, the one ball stayed close to the rail. If I had hit the three ball on, the, on, the, on this side, 
the one ball would have gone closer to the cue ball. But now the opponent doesn't have, doesn't have any. Here is an interesting shot. I can make a bank shot in, in the corner, but the cue ball is going to travel far away from the, from the two ball, so I need to make a, a kill shot with a lot of low left speed to kill the cue ball on the rail and try to stay, keep the cue ball close to this rail with the draw shot. So low left speed. I did not succeed, but you can see that the, I got, the cue ball got killed on the rail. Did not go so far away. And I will show you, show you that shot, the, the normal, the normal bank shot where the cue ball will travel far. Just a normal bank shot. And you see that the cue ball travels all the way there. And I don't have position on the two ball. So I need to make a kill shot to try to uh, stop the cue ball before so that it doesn't go far away from the two ball. So I use a low left spin. Low left spin. And I need to hit it thinner. I will do it again. Uh, low, low left speed. Like that. Now the cue ball did not go all the way there. It stopped perfectly uh, for the two ball. If I had missed the one ball, let's say it, it was up there, the nine ball would be in the way. So that is not something I, I had in mind when making this shot. And if the nine would not be there, I would not have selected to make the bank shot. So always think about that. Think about if there are any balls in the way. And then you can try to make the shot. But if, if the nine was not here, the, if and I had missed the ball, the one ball would be out in the open. And that would have been a bad, a bad strategy shot. Okay. Here, the position for the three ball is tough, very tough. And uh, let's see what I, I can do here. I think the only way is to go around the table with inside spin, right spin, hit the rail there, there, and come this way for the three ball. Maybe even hit the eight on the way out from this way to get perfect position. Let's see if I can do that. If I miss a shot, uh, I think the cue ball and, and uh, two ball will be far away from the, each other if I miss a shot. So that is something I have in mind. If I miss a shot, opponent will not get any. Okay, so I can go for this shot. Here I use a lot of right speed. Lot of right speed. I use too little, too little right spin, and let's see, I'm still okay, I can still see the three ball, but I need to use more, more uh, right spin on, on this, this shot. Let me do it again, a lot more right spin. There you go, and now, because I missed, there's some, there's some distance between the cue ball and the two ball, there's some distance. So that's very good also, very good thing to know that if you attempt a shot, you can get away with it if you miss. I will do it again, back to right spin. There you go, that is pretty good. And the eight would have been there. And I got good position on the three ball. I was lucky, I hit the three. Let's continue, and now uh, going from the three to the four, it can be quite tricky to... Uh, you need to have this kind of angle on the, on the four ball, so that's... Uh, you need to make sure you are here, on the right side of this queue, and not on the left side, because if you are on the left side of the queue, you need to hit the rail here and come back, and it is dangerous. You can get snooker by the seven or, or you can scratch in the side. So I don't like that. I want to be somewhere, somewhere here. 
and I need to control uh, the speed accurately to, to be able to stop somewhere in this area. So I use the uh, top left spin. Let's see, I went a little bit further than I wanted, but I'm okay, at least I, ha I have a good angle. So here, here comes an interesting shot. I have too much angle on the floor, so the cube was going to end up going too far away from the spike. Uh, but there are two ways you can do, do this shot. One way is to hit the pipe on purpose, put the pipe into the rail, and the pipe will go out from the rail again. And the second way is to hit the cube, hit the cue ball there and hit the seven with the cue ball. Uh, but here, I'm going to pick the, the first alternative because because the seven is so good in a, in a good place in the end. So if I make the six, I have good position on the seven. Make a stop shot on the seven, easy shot on the eight, and then the nine, and then the ten, and the game is over. So I have a very good pattern in the end to finish the game quite easily. So I don't want to mess up with the seven. I don't, I don't, I don't want to push the seven away into another place where it, where it becomes tougher. And maybe, maybe if I push the seven here, the nine is blocking the seven. So I, I don't want that. So on this shot, Instead of going this way with the cube and pushing the seven, I'm going to push the five. Okay, so I use the top left spin. Try to push the five. Try to hit the five on the on the bottom side. It will hit the rail there and come out. Maybe start in front of the side of it. Okay, so top left spin. And you see, I got to position on the five. I missed the, I missed the four. Mr. Four, uh, let me do it again. Let's do it again. Do something like that, yeah. So let's do it again. Top, uh, left spin. Yeah, now I push the. I have a shot in the corner, a tough shot, and uh, I can barely see the five. But let's do, let's do the shot again so you see the, uh, the variations of what can happen every time you hit the five. And I didn't want to hit the rail first before hitting the five. I want to hit straight on. So I'm using uh, less of top speed this time, so it just doesn't go uh, forwards after the contact so much. Okay, do it again. Left, left spin, left spin. Yeah, I hit it. Yeah, I hit it. Okay. And you see that every every time I get a shot on the five, if I attempt to push the five out from the rail, but I will do it again. Let's do it again. I want to push the five. Uh, you put something like this here. Yeah? And uh, it is not possible to draw back the keyboard over here. That was, that was impossible. I have so much angle. I have so much angle on the floor that I can't stop the keyboard here. The keyboard is going to go hit the rail and come out. So here I'm going to attempt to hit the five on the, on the bottom side. Try to push it into the open. There, perfect. But I missed the four. But you can see that I get a shot on the five every single time when I when I attempt for that. The toughest, the toughest part is making the four. That's that's the toughest part in this shot. And when you use when you, when you use left spin, you get a slight masse effect. So it gets a, it gets tougher when you do that. Yeah, I hit that uh, too hard, so the masse effect didn't have a chance to, to grab, to turn it uh, to the left. So I'm going to do it again. Yeah, I hit the uh, rail first that time. But this, this is a makeable shot. You can actually hit this hard and uh, hit the 7 with the 5 and the 5 will go to the side. And it will go into the side pocket. 
That is that is a possibility. But I will discard uh, again, so you can see. Yeah, and that is. Uh, I did not place the balls the exact, exactly the same as in the beginning. The five was higher up. So I will do this. Uh, I will do this chart again. Left spin. There we go. And now I push the five into the open. And I can make the five in a side. Okay, so uh, in maybe. 90% of the time, you're going to get a good shot on the five when you attempt to break it open uh, from the rail. And I will show you the other alternative way you try to hit, hit the seven. When you, when you try to hit the seven, and that's a much tougher shot. You go like this, you try to hit the seven, and I, I made it the first time, but uh, many times you don't succeed in that shot. Let me do it again. Let me show you that uh, it's, it's a tougher, tougher alternative to do. I, I made it exactly the same way again. Uh, you see that the 7 is being pushed into a bad place and if it's here, it, it can't be made in a corner or in that corner, it must be made here or there. So it's, it, the seven it will be in a tougher place. And that's why I don't want to push the seven into another position. And I'm show, show this shot again. And I miss the shot. And you see the seven is being pushed into a bad place. And I, that is what something I, I don't like, okay? Normally, if the, these balls were out of the way, then that would be a good shot. Because then the seven can, can be made in uh, all of the pockets. But right now the seven is tough to make. So that, that is the second alternative that, that you can go for that you try to hit the seven with the cue ball. And uh, I'm showing that shot again. Low left spin. And I miss a shot, then see longer and longer shot on the five, it's a sub shot. Let's do it again. I miss a shot, let's see top shot on the five. So I'm not really getting so good uh, position on the five ball when I attempt to hit the set. Let's do it again. Yeah, now I got a good shot, but then the nine, seven got pushed into a bad place when I chose that alternative. And the 7 can't be made in the corner because the 9 is blocking it. But that is the reason why I don't want to pick that, that choice. I want to pick the 7 where it is, where, where it, it can be made in the corner over there. And if it is so close to the side pocket that it becomes easy in the end. So here I will show you the first alternative where I try to hit the, hit the 5 with the cue ball. See, perfect. And now the five that put in front of the side pocket. Much easier to, 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 do, to do it that way. And now let's continue. I want to draw back the cue ball, make the five in the side. And now I have a good angle uh, to go from the six ball to the seven. Because the seven is so close to the side pocket, it becomes very easy. Here I use the top right speed. Almost, almost missed that start. But now, because the seven is so close to the side pocket, it, it, it didn't really matter that I messed up that shot. I could have started anywhere in this area, and I have an easy, easy shot on the seven. So that is that, that is the reason why I kept the seven where it is. Makes it much easier in the end, even if you mess up. Here, I will just go to the rail and back again for the eight. And so. Top right spin. There you go. That is okay. 
And I have a good shot on the eight, just roll it in. And here I will make the falling stroke where I because I can't reach the eight. So I need to push the cue far and then I will fall on the table. Because I, I, I will lose my balance. So I will do, I will do the falling stroke. That, that's a falling stroke. And I will do it again. I will do the shot again. The falling stroke. If, if you don't have a choice, you must do this. Okay, focus. Like that. Uh, that is how that is a falling stroke where you fall on the table after the after after you pull the trigger. And that is that is a trick you can do if you don't have an extender or a mechanical bridge. Let's continue. Here, here is an interesting shot that uh, you can scratch in the side pocket if you shoot this wrong. And some players, some pro players, they go around the table, play position with speed over here for the table. Just, just to be safe that you don't scratch. And uh, yeah, you can do it both ways. If, if you have good speed control, you can, you can be, play the safe, safe game and go this way with the keyboard. But preferably you want to go into the angle for the, for the step. So I, I would go into the angle. I would try to hit the red somewhere higher up than I normally would, because I want to avoid the scratch. So I try to hit the red somewhere there, get the cue ball to stop somewhere there. So top right spin. And I went way too close to the side pocket than I wanted. I, I had attempted to hit there. I hit it there. And what if I had attempted to hit there? I would have scratched. But because I tried to play, play it safe, I, I wanted to hit higher up, uh, farther away from the uh, side pocket. And because, because of that reason, uh, I did not scratch in the side pocket when I hit it wrong. Okay? So there's another way you can play this shot. And it is kind of a trick shot. You go around the table and that way you will avoid any pockets. You go around the table. You go one rail, two rails, three rails, four rails, and up for the for the ten. That's kind of a trick shot that you can practice. A lot of right spin like that and go up for the ten. And then there's there's no risk of uh, scratching when you do that shot because in the first shot I almost scratched into the side pocket, and uh, that is something. Uh, that is very dangerous. And also, the, the other way is to go with speed to play here for the 10. I will show you that alternative. Play with speed to come this way with the cue ball, and it's perfect. But many times you don't have good speed control, so you want to go around the table. You want to go around the table. It, it depends on uh, what kind of shot you like. Oops, and now I missed the shot. Let's do it again. Let's do this shot again. Like that, and go up. For the ten, that's perfect. And I will show it again. I will show this shot again. Uh, right spin. I missed the shot. So if I shoot, yeah, good position again. If you shoot harder, it is much tougher to to stroke straight. I will do it again. Like that good position on the ten. You see that I'm coming into the angle with the cue ball every time when I go around the table. I will shoot it softer this time. Whoa, now because I shot softer, I missed the ball. I missed the pocket. Because the extreme side spin they will act like a uh, masse. So it will curve to the right. So if you shoot softer, you need to aim differently. Again, I got a lot of throw uh, 
because of the side spin. So if you are not comfortable with side spin, you want to go the, the other way where you go soft for the tennis ball. I will go around the table again, like that. That's a good, good position there. And uh, if you shoot this too hard, you might scratch in the side pocket. So make sure don't shoot too hard. You don't need to shoot too hard, okay? This time I shot softer. Let's see what I got. And that's pretty good position on the 10. That's pretty good. And uh, those were the three alternatives of how you can play position for the 10 ball. The first was to go close to the rail, close, to, go close to the side pocket. Yeah, top right spin, go close to the side pocket, very really dangerous, but you get perfect position on the 10 if you succeed. The other way is to go this way with speed to the other side of the, of the 10. Right spin, go with speed. Sometimes you go too far, you don't have a good shot on the 10 if you go too far. So that's a that happens very often if you, if you attempt for that shot. And the third alternative is to go ar around the table with a lot of right speed. Like that. I shot it too soft also. So. Yeah. And uh, I will do the shot again to show you that. Uh, yeah, it's a tougher shot because I missed, I missed the nine, okay? If you need to shoot harder, you're going to miss the, the pocket, especially if you use side spin. So side spin is very difficult to control, especially if you haven't played pool for a long time. So I recommend to go this, the first alternative. If you haven't played for a long time, try to travel as short as possible with the cue ball. Okay? I got perfect position there. But if you are in stroke, you can go around the table. You need to focus, you need to focus on making the ball. Like that, I went too, I shot too hard. I still get a shot on the 10, even if I push the 10. Okay? And I think the worst, the worst shot is to go this way with, the, with speed. You might stop there, and you don't have any shot anywhere. But if you go, if you go around the table, you might push the 10 out into the open and you can make the 10 in the side pocket. I'm going to do it again. Let's see if the ball ends up good. Yeah, it is good. The 10 ball is easily makeable in the corner pocket. So I, I will make the final shot, top right spin, and the game is over. Okay? So there you go. So that is uh, how you. Uh, think, you need to think all of the possibilities of, of what can happen. What can happen on the table? Uh, what happens if you fail? What kind of position do you get if you fail? And uh, it all depends on uh, what you are comfortable with. If you are comfortable, if you are comfortable, comfortable with side spin, then you can use side spin. But if you are not comfortable with side spin, try to travel uh, short with the cue ball, like, like you saw the short distance to the temple case. Okay, so, okay, so see you at the end of the video. And the next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool.